Here in this video we are back playing Find the Foodkins. So there have been quite a few more added, especially some Christmas themed ones, so we're going to go ahead and find all of the new ones. Around spawn you will notice that there is now this new purple vortex. This takes you to one of the new games by Brand New Verse, um, which is the candy vacuum game. I can't remember quite what it was called. So there are three foodkins to get with that game but I will go ahead and get that later on at the end of the video. So just a hint with this game, there are now some useful kind of floating orbs which are kind of a suggestion you have to do something around that area. So we're trying to get corn now and it says to look around the corners and as you'll notice there are some orbs on every single corner of the spawn area. But I did just spot Christmas trees, so we'll go ahead and collect that one. I love the fact that the little tree in front then has Christmas lights on it. I know I'm a tad late to the party, it's mid-January and I'm finding Christmas stuff. But it is nice, I still like Christmas, so I miss it already. But we're going to touch all four of the orbs and now you can see that corn has appeared behind the sign. And then once you've completed the task, the orbs will then go away. So right underneath the kind of cool snowman with the gold chain, um, you'll find the yoghurt on top of the snowballs. Um, again, we've got one of these orbs. So these new updates are a bit more puzzle based, which I actually really like. Um, it does bring a different challenge element to, to these foodkins. It's been really, really enjoyable. So you have to interact with that sled there and then by the de-snowball eyes um, snowball, jump on that sled and crash, but then run back to the um, de-snowball eyes snow globe. And you will see that the Grinch Punch has now appeared. So these snowmen, on ever since they've been kind of introduced, have never worked. And they finally worked. I don't know if they fixed the bug or whatever happened. Um, but I'm so chuffed. I know obviously a lot of you might have had these already. But I can finally get this foodkin. as soon as the little one turns over and you press it you've got the right order finally i have ice cream finally So this is the barrel where pretzel comes up. So we're just making our way up again. And we now have a mine detector box at the top here. So if we interact, we get this mine detector and then we can go over and go and get the chocolate pie, obviously not stepping on the mines. I was kind of half expecting it to go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> So just by 
inside the lava area, we have egg tart hidden there between the rocks. I don't know why the hint is sunning themselves when that's probably the most shadiest place you could find. So making our way on top of where the Halloween gate is and we now have a pickaxe and a crystal and again we've got the orb and we can go ahead and collect the, um, the, the item that comes up but it does say that we've got to run and get our crown so we have the throne over there so we've just got to make our way over struggling to remember how to get up there it's been a while since I've had to go to the throne not sure why that ladder's being a bit temperamental <laughs> i started to think it might have been me uh, but we got up it so it's fine and we've got the food kin and i have lost my crown so in the city where bacon was where piggy's on the floor we've got another orb and we actually collect a uh, massa uh, just down at the bottom of the screen there you hold it out you can pop it away if you want to however if we run round the back where desert is and then if you just follow me there is a microwave on the floor and if you pop the matter into the microwave so if you're holding it and then press the microwave the steam bun will then appear I'm loving these puzzles and that the food kins are away from where you have to interact. It does make it like a bit harder. This has been such an enjoyable game. If you haven't played this game before, you won't be disappointed. So we've got this funky league dance going on with the music. <laughs> so what we need to do now is have the league out and spinning. Um, and out by spawn there was another orb that we didn't complete there it is and there is leak so here in jungle you need to step on this box whatever it is but it creates a stone for the avocado and then avocado appears just climb up the tree we found the chocolate pool for churro I'm not sure if you just kind of stand in the pool for a little bit but I did and churro appeared So a lot of people go up the uh, opposite side of this building to get up to milk. Um, however, if you get inside the rails, you can actually climb it quite quickly. Um, it can be a bit of a pain getting in there, but it's worth it because you don't have to wait for the way on this side of the building to appear. So for cheese, we've got to be fat and we've got to go through this portal on top. It drops you down and you automatically hit cheese. Tad annoying we're back at spawn but we're gonna go up the same way again and believe me this is so much quicker bit of a hack for that building so when the whale um, is floating around the sky we need to get up to this catapult here and you need to change into your bigger version of yourself get in the spoon and there we go we are lined up to hit the whale Boom! You'll hear the doo doo, and that means you've got it. Don't go away from the desert. Peppermint is actually there. Unfortunately, I ran away not realising, and I had to check the hint. Um, but in the field, gold kind of um, cacti, there is peppermint. So 
So we need to get back onto the rooftops over in city to go to the other portal. So we are taking a flight with the birds. If you do like this video or any other video from Judgment TV, please do help support my channel and hit that subscribe button. We then change back to my normal size. And through the portal we can get apple pie. If you are bigger, you'll drop through another portal and just go straight back to spawn. So make, make sure you are your normal size. Again, that's what I'm saying. If you can wiggle in, it does make it easier. It can be a tad temperamental to try and climb up, but it is still quicker. So again we're going through the same portal again and we've got to try and jump onto the hospital roof. The hospital is a new addition but it just takes you through to a new game by the developers. And Gummy Bear is in the tree house on the roof and again the Christmas lights appear. All very festive but it's mid-January. So we are going to go ahead and find the New Year's. We've got to find 12 grapes. So the first one I found in the snow area by the snowmen, the, the musical ones. The second one it is just outside the hospital. The third one I found inside of the kind of gallery. The fourth one is in the waterfall in the jungle. Ignore the numbers, I had a bit of an issue which I will explain in a minute. There is one on top of the tree, this is where the wolf is with the patty. In Desert by the Temple, we have our next one underneath the kind of red shade. Into the orb portal and underneath, in between the legs, is our next grape. In the Halloween graveyard, you will see one behind the pumpkin. In the sewer grate where fried chicken um, and I think it's spaghetti that's behind there, I can't remember which one sat in that chair, uh, we will find our next one. In the mountains, I'm sorry I'm flitting about, I just kind of found these as and when. In the mountain, do you remember the roller coaster entrance? We need to go back there and inside the car is our next one. The tunnel where we got Mummy Brownie, we need to go back down into the tunnel. And there it is. I do like that they're making you go through all the different teleports and games and areas in the map. This one took me ages to find. <laughs> so we need to go back um, and find the hidden wall. I always get a bit turned around in the Halloween house. There we are, big spider. And just above the table, and we get a spooky Happy New Year. Pretty ominous. <laughs> I'm 
So the New Year's Eve grapes are by Spawn. So the glitch that I found, so I did leave the game a couple of times, is I actually got a grape whilst I was just randomly looking through the index. Bit weird. And then I had another grape in the same game. Um, I hadn't actually logged off at this point, just while I was running around snow. So if this happens to you and you can't find the ones I've showed you, have a look there. So do you remember the portal into the new game? So we will go ahead and get these updated three foodkins. So this is basically a candy vacuuming simulator. So we literally just have to go around and hoover up the candies. So you will be invited um, through the game to join Santa's Christmas concert. So you're going to have to press yes, I think. I'm not sure how you get the badges, but this is what I did. So I'm not sure if you buy something from the shop and you can get this badge or if you have to join the concert, it all kind of like came together at the same point. But when I purchased the vacuum, see the badge that came up Happy Thanksgiving? That is our first food kin. So I'm not sure if you have to join the concert because very soon after I got kicked over to the concert. And here we are joining Santa's concert. So you end up getting teleported onto the sleigh. If you do join the concert, um, you're going to have to sit through it, I'm afraid. I think this is how you get the badge. It's an alright concert. You've got Rocker Santa. Um, he's not rocking at all. He, sang, he sings Jingle Bells and some other songs, but I was kind of, from the look of things, like, Jingle Bells, like proper metalhead, but no. <laughs> I was disappointed it was kind of a normal rendition of Jingle Bells. It is quite a long concert. It's really well scripted. Um, you've got the little dancing foodkins, light shows, fireworks, etc. Um, and the sleigh moves through different areas. So it, it's a good little watch. Again, outdated for Christmas. Would have been a bit better had I noticed this update before Christmas. <laughs> Just makes me miss Christmas even more. But here is Santa going. The different coloured lights. You can have a bit of a boogie along with it if you want to. And there is the concert starting. So you end up going on the sleigh and then you go to a house. Um, and then Santa's chucking presents around with dancing foodkins. At the end of the concert you will then be able to claim the badge. And I think this is the badge that you need for the second foodkin, which is the Meet Santa badge. And then from this point, you can then access all the various different games um, from the brand new universe, uh, the brand new verse. So I'm not sure, kind of, I think you need the Pro Vacuuma um, badge, which came up when I hit over 2k. Um, they have a parade every now and again, you'll get a, a, a kind of notice that comes up saying a parade starting. I will say that it is, if you just want the Foodkin badge, watch the parade. Because at the end you get these candies and they're worth like 300 each. So if you want to get that Pro Vacuum really easily, you can go and collect all three sets of candies and the doll. Um, and you'll reach that quota really, really quickly. So when we go back into find the foodkins, we now have all three foodkins available for collection. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you soon. Bye.